Hey guys, what's up? This is Redneck Gamer X, and I'm here to talk about this crappy trailer of Sonic. It just looks so bad. Uh, Sonic himself just looks gross. He looks nasty. His face, down to his hedgehog fingers, his legs. I mean, just look at everything about him just looks nasty. Like, in this scene right here, he's stretching, he's got long legs, he just looks gross. His face looks bad, um, and it's a shame, you know, I figured this movie was going to be bad, the plot already sounds stupid, but Jim Carrey is going to be the guy who carries this movie. I mean, you can see, because of how he acts, his personality, he's so funny, he's so spot on, I mean... He's a great actor, and at this point in his career, he really doesn't have anything to lose. So, I think he'll be carrying majority of the movie. But, it's just so much of a shame, because... I mean, a lot of people knew this movie was going to be bad. Like, honestly, they would have been better off making a Sonic the Hedgehog movie in Sonic's world, and leaving him as an animated character... And just making a new Sonic movie that is animated. Not this. Not Sonic in the real world. I mean, look at his face. It just looks so gross. Like, I don't see how the makers of this thought, oh, this looks cool. Because it really doesn't. And then you got Gangsters in Paradise playing in the background. Like, why? Why do you have Gangsters in Paradise playing in a supposedly kids movie? What makes you think any of these characters in this movie are gangster at all? It's just so weird. And the fact that he can teleport too, in itself, that's just weird. I just don't understand what they were going for with this movie. You know, like I get that he's fast, but if anybody ever watched the actual cartoon to Sonic the Hedgehog... This is an actual insult to that cartoon. I mean, I've watched the anime, I've read the comic books, and none of this makes sense. And even Jim Carrey himself, yeah, he doesn't look like Dr. Eggman, but if you watch at the end credits of this, it shows him with bald head actually as Dr. Eggman. If you look at him right there, he actually looks decent as Dr. Eggman. You know, so we're going to go back into this trailer. We're going to do this three times, and I'm going to show you stuff about this that are off. Look, look at this right here. You got him moving fast through the woods, and then you see him, and then his hands are, are gross, like he doesn't have gloves, and then you see that He's long-legged and everything else. He's got Nike shoes on, so they got to promote Nike. I'm pretty sure they're going to do some commercials with that. Another thing is when he's in a ball, I don't know if anybody have ever seen the movie Critters, but that's what he looks like. He looks like one of those critters when he's in a ball. And you can tell the movie is low-budgeted because of majority of the actors that are in it. The only high-budgeted actor in the movie is Jim Carrey. The main character is the dude from Smallville who can't even catch a damn break. The last movie he was in was Hop, and it did terribly. The other movie he was in was... Um, I can't really remember any other movies that he was in. But Oh my god, just look at him. He just looks... Oh, it just looks gross. And then the reaction time between the two. It's like the guy hasn't even been to acting school. It's just so stupid. I mean, this part, yeah, it looks decent. But, I mean, it's clear that whoever decided to direct this has never even heard of Sonic. They've never ever played a Sonic game. They've never watched a Sonic uh, anime series. They've never even read the comic books, you know? And if Sonic is in this time, because I do know in the Sonic anime, Sonic did come to the real world. But like I said, it's animation. You can stretch that shit out in animation. And you can... That's acceptable because 
you know, it's animation. It's more flexible. But with this, you're trying to make Sonic to look like a real hedgehog. And he it, he just turns out to look gross. You know what I mean? And then you got this scene here where the people around him think there's a kid inside of his bag. But it's really just Sonic. That's just a scene that's kind of cringy. Like, you can just tell the people around him don't want to be there. I mean, it's just... I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a good movie. I think it's going to be bad. I mean, and from what I've seen on YouTube and the reactions for it, I mean, it's got more dislikes than likes. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to go see it just because I like Jim Carrey. But that's really it, is mostly I like Jim Carrey. I just... I don't know. I just don't like the way the character looks. Like, I would understand if the movie made Sonic look decent, but they they don't. They make him look like crap. That's why I suggested they just should have done an anime version of this movie. Because then they, there's no way they can mess it up, you know? Why do you think they've never done a real live action movie of freaking Yu-Gi-Oh? It's because, it's because logically it just sounds stupid. Like it makes no sense. And there's no characters out there, people out there that would look like Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. It just logically it makes sense. It's like when they made the Street Fighter movie with Van Damme. It was stupid then and it's stupid now. You know, you don't do that. Game, licensed game movies are terrible. It's just bad. I mean, the only one that actually made it through good was Tobey Maguire's um, Spider-Man. And, I mean, only the first one and second one were really actually any good. But, I don't know. I, I just really don't know what to think about this. I feel like it's I feel like it's Sony just shoving this shit down people's throats because they're like, "Oh, well, it's it's for kids, so nobody's going to care, you know, but the adults like me that have, you know, kids are going to end up taking them to go see this movie and and you know, I got to sit through this shit. I'm going to need some alcohol watching this, you know, but my son, you know, he's 10. So, I showed him the trailer today, and he thought it was ass. I mean, he didn't say it was ass, but he did say it was butts. That's what he said. I said, hey, what do you think about the Sonic trailer? He's like, it looks like butts. But, you know, if you can't even entertain a 10-year-old, you get a problem. But, this is Redneck Gamer X, and I hope you liked the video. Leave me a like, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all guys later. Bye.